at six, this was definitely a wild sight in Lincoln and beautiful. An African cat on the run in a neighborhood. Now, neighbors living in the area knew that was no ordinary house cat. And that's when they called in the professionals for a little bit of help. No, he didn't seem threatening at all. Yeah. Mary Jo Haggerty first saw the wild cat earlier this week in Lincoln. We went to the front door and this exotic cat, which I assume was a, some type of serval, was at the front door looking all over the place like he wanted to come in. So she called rescuers at the MSPCA to get some help. It is exceedingly really rare to find a serval in the wild. I was shocked when we got the call. I was shocked when they sent us the picture. I think that's a serval. I think it's a wild African cat and probably shouldn't be in the woods in Lincoln. Crews from the MSPCA Angel came up with a plan to rescue him. We had the residents feeding him at the same time every day. And then we got a call yesterday that he was um, in the driveway. So we went out, we threw him some food, and he like kind of ran over towards <laughs> us. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> stay back, buddy. Servals are native to Africa and definitely not used to New England weather. He was like, I'm from Africa. It's cold here. Please let me inside. So we got him into the garage and he kind of wedged himself into a corner and we were able to use like a very thick blanket and really thick bite gloves to like wrap him safely in a towel and put him into a big cage. I think the whole rescue took about an hour. Once he was at headquarters, the veterinary team discovered the cat, now named Bruto, was actually hurt. He has two really severe breaks to his back right leg that have been healing for at least a few at least a couple to a few months now they have a big decision to make doesn't seem like we'll be able to repair the leg so it's really a question of like assessing his comfort and how much he uses that leg and if it if his quality of life would be better to amputate the leg or to allow him to keep that leg and kind of manage his pain throughout his life so. But one thing is certain, Bruno will never go up for adoption. He's definitely not a pet cat. They're okay. in Africa. Go on safari and see them there. He's awfully cute, though. Once he does recover, Bruno will go to a sanctuary or, a sanctuary or a zoo. The MSPCA stressing it is illegal to keep exotic animals like that one as a pet, Lisa. But he is gorgeous. Really no is. question.